Okay, this is video number two. Video number two on these Honda engines, how to take them apart. We learned in the last video, this right here is where the air filter is, and it filters the air coming into the engine. Um, now I want to take this air filter hit, uh, assembly off. You have a 10 millimeter nut here. When I say 10 millimeter, I mean that's the size of the socket, not the size of the, that's the size of the socket you need. It's not actually the size of the nut. It's probably a six millimeter nut, but 10 millimeter socket takes off both of these and you got one right here and it takes that off and this thing should just pull off of here easily and we have some kind of air tube connected to it right there. All right, I'm going to take these nuts and bolts here and for my air clear assembly and put them in there. If you want to write down on a piece of paper uh, air filter assembly bolts and put it in there with it and then put all the bolts and nuts and put a piece of paper saying um, top cover and gas tank and all that stuff um, put a piece of paper in there that wouldn't be necessarily a bad idea. Let's see if I can pull this hose off. Oh, yep. Sometimes if this hose is sticking on there real tight, you may have to get a pair of slip joint pliers to put on there and kind of twist it real easy to get it off. All right, now I want to stuff this down here. All right, that really opened up things right here, as you can see. Okay, I got my carburetor right here. Fuel line going to the carburetor, it's running back here. And looks like I got a line right here going to my coil. Okay. Carburetor's got a gasket. I'm gonna take that gasket. I'm gonna put it with my bolts, my bolt and my two nuts for the carburetor. Alright. This carburetor should just pretty much slide. Alrighty. Alright. I see I got two rods here. This one right here actually has a spring. <clears throat> and a rod connected to it and you need to remove these rods in the spring carefully. This takes a little bit of force, try not to bend it too much, uh, do it as easily as possible. My fingers are kind of big so there we go. I got that one off. <clears throat> now we gotta worry about getting this one out of here. And, oh, another thing we need to take off is this fuel line right here. There's a fuel line right here, and it's got this clamp that you squeeze, and then you just push it back. So I have to use my finger and do that. Had to use a pair of pliers to help assist that fuel line off. Now I got that fuel line off of there. See if I can pull this thing out right here, and then I would think I could get enough angle. Mm. That's kind of tight. Um, if you can't get it off like that, don't force it. Um, you may have to take a pair of channel locks and put right here, I'm sorry, a pair of uh, vice grips and put right here, tighten them down and turn these loose and get these studs out. Uh, don't force it. Just be gentle. Okay, this is, this is what my carburetor looks like, okay? And if you look, it's got a couple of little screws in the bottom. This one, I believe, is for empty in the carburetor. So let's say you want to let this engine sit for Let's say like, uh, okay, over the winter time, I'm not gonna use my lawnmower. You can drain all the gas out right here. That way the gas is gonna stay in there and get all funky and clog up your carburetor. And then your float and such are inside of here. And this is called the bowl of your carburetor. Um, fuel's in here, and it's got a float and it del helps deliver fuel to the engine, okay? This right here is called a butterfly valve. It's much like a throttle plate on a um, 
on a gasoline car. All right, so there's your carburetor. I'm going to take that. I'll probably put that up here. I think mean, it's about small enough. I won't be able to shut my case, but I'll put that up there. Uh, just put it somewhere where it logically makes sense for you to uh, put it back together. All right, I got this gasket here, and it's got this little clip. And this clip has got the coil wire on the back of it. So I'm going to try to see if I can squeeze it without breaking this gasket. Kind of work it back and forth a little bit. I'll get that dude to come out. Whew. All right, here's my gasket for my carburetor. I'm gonna stick it up here with that. Okay. Now I think I want to remove this apparatus right here. This is all your throttle stuff, all your throttle linkages and stuff. We're gonna work on removing that, and we got some more 10 millimeter head bolts right here. Right here. Okay. Set that to the side there for a minute. Looks like I got a spring down right here that's holding me. Okay, remember this hose right here runs behind that throttle piece there. Okay, got my little rod here, I'm going to keep that. Okay, now the only thing that's holding me on now is the coil pack and should be able to come unplugged. Kind of hard to do. You may have to gently use a pair of pliers, and that should slide off of there. And you have your whole throttle, your whole uh, throttle assembly right here. All right, put that there. Put this in there. Should be another bolt. Then there's that. All right. There's another bolt right there. Okay, now let's go around to this side of it. I'm just going to spin this on the table. Let's see what I can take off here. Okay, right here's your, it says oil. This is where you fill your oil in at. This is your oil dipstick tube. Uh, basically, if it gets on the cross hatch here, if you're in, on this cross hatch, you're good. Uh, if you get above that, you got too much oil in it, you're going to have to drain it back out. And it looks like you drain it back out right here. So that's kind of nice. We're going to take this right here, should just pop out. Alrighty. Alright, we got the oil fill off, we got the, um, the throttle uh, assembly off, and this would be the end of this video. Stay tuned for the next one. Remember, do not work ahead and take lots of pictures with your, um, take lots of pictures with your cell phone. Thank you very much.